Hello everybody, I hope you're well. So, I, uh, I was in prayer this morning and the Lord showed me some very interesting things that I want to tell you. Now, like I've said in the past, um, I, I just haven't had the right time to sit down and, you know, draw everything out perfectly and edit and all this stuff. In fact, I can't edit it all anymore. Uh, the things stop working. I guess you got you have to get an upgrade. Um, <clears throat> but now I can't even put pictures together. And I can't show you anything either. I would have liked to show you stuff of what I'm going to tell you. Like pictures can help a lot. So I apologize for that. I cannot do that. And um, and I because of the urgency of this message, I, as usual, see I mentioned it before, I can't respond to something I wanted to respond to because it's like this is... <clears throat> It would be like, it would just be in the way of, of what I have to tell you now, okay? So this is, this is really amazing. And like I said, I don't have, I just jotted stuff down. I don't have an organized thing. So let's get started with that intro. What this is showing me that I'm going to tell you is that we should be According to me, what I'm seeing, okay? Never saying thus as a Lord. But <clears throat> with that said, I'm looking at right now, between now and June 11th, rapture. But this is one of the most amazing times I've seen since I started doing this. And um, so here's the thing. The Lord had me look up, you know, 2030, because of the 2030 Messiah and Yeshua coming back in 2030. However, as we know, time started to run out for that. But where does that leave us? Well, 2030 would end in on April 23rd, 2031. That would be when the, the new year begins, which would be our 2031. Now, what's really neat is that God showed me today about Enoch and how he was the first man raptured, uh, but he was 365 years old. And I always knew, I mean, we all figure that connects us to the Gregorian calendar, 365 days a year <clears throat> and I often I often look for that like thinking that the date could connect to that but the Lord showed me this morning that it's the year God was pointing to the year saying I'm acknowledging the Gregorian calendar for the year I come back okay for the Enoch Enoch is our confirmation for the year why do I say it's the year 2024? This is why. This is what he showed me, and we're gonna get we're gonna get to June in a minute. But um, God put 24 hours in a day. Why did He pick 24? It's a time. It's a full circle of a day. It's the full circle, full cycle. 24. That's what 24. It's a full cycle. Um, and then, so you have 12 and 12, you have 12 disciples, 12 gates around the city, 12, why 12, 12 months in the year, 24 hours a day. Okay. 24 seven. Hey, we're open 24 seven, 24 plus seven is 31. I believe he's coming back. The Lord's coming back in 31, but that is literally at the end of Messiah 2030. So if you count 2030 to the very end, okay, right up until 31, 
you actually still can fit the seven year tribulation in there but even better than that it's the 25 20 day count of daniel there's 25 20 days 2520 days in the seven year tribulation because the israeli year the jewish year is 360 days okay not like ours which is 365 okay so this is so cool okay so i hope you're following me like i'm sorry i don't have pictures but um i might repeat stuff to make it easier so for the 2030 messiah to still work and he comes back at the end of 2030 okay the end of that is april 23rd okay that's the beginning of the next year in the Hebrew calendar, okay? Now, the Torah is off a month, but that's okay. It doesn't matter. But I'm still going by the new moon is starting the new month and the new year of 2031, April 23rd, okay? Now, Passover that year is May 6th. Okay, May 6th, Passover. This is when the Lord could come back and pass over. And the, May 7th, which is 517, which is a number I got several years ago. I did many videos on it. 517, okay. Turns out in uh, 2031, May 7th is a lunar eclipse the day after Passover, the Lord could definitely come on a lunar eclipse, okay? May 7th, hours after Passover starts, okay? Now, um, okay, let me... Okay, so if you take, let's say he comes back May 7th, lunar eclipse, day after Passover, at the very end of 2030, okay? It, it, you know, like I said, it'll be 20, it will be 30, 2031 on the Gregorian calendar, but that really starts April 23rd. That's when the 31, year 31 starts, because God always starts the year in Nisan, okay? That's what he told Moses. I always say that. He starts the year in the spring, always the month of Passover. Okay, that's where this is coming from. Now, if he comes back May 7th on the lunar eclipse, the day after Passover, if you subtract the 2520 days of Daniel, okay, we're taking, subtracting 25, 20 days of Daniel, the 70th week of Daniel. It takes you to June 12th this year, 2024, in a few days. Why is that significant? Because June 11th and 12th is Israel's Shavuot, Feast of Weeks, Pentecost. Hello. That's when the church, Pentecost is when the church was born and the Holy Spirit came down suddenly and filled the people in the upper room waiting because Jesus left and said, wait here, wait, tarry here a few days until I send you the Holy Spirit. And then he ascended, okay, into heaven. So they waited, and on that day of Pentecost, suddenly, like a mighty rushing wind, the Holy Spirit came down and filled them. That was the beginning of the church age, because it was the Holy Spirit now on the earth, which is the restrainer, which is the very thing that is fill, that's in us, the born-again believers in Yeshua, that's going to be leaving the earth at the end of the church age, at the rapture. Because we are, the restrainer is the Holy Spirit in us. That's going to depart. Okay? The church is leaving at the rapture. So, like I said, 
Why wouldn't it leave the same day it was born into the earth is the same way it could leave the earth? And that would be, God would be honoring Shavuot, Pentecost, that Israel is observing because he wants to show them a miracle on that day so that they, they start to see, their eyes are opened, because right now they're blinded, to see who the real Messiah is. That would be a major statement for God to do this on Shavuot in Israel. Okay, this is amazing. Let me, let me finish with the last things he showed me. Also, this fits into the fig tree generation because, and this is something, listen, you guys may have already figured it out, uh, but I want to correct what I said before because I wanted to wait till the Lord showed me personally because if someone else says it in the video or something, I might not even get it. When he shows me, then I'm like, okay, now I really get it. And I'm a little late in seeing it, but, you know, I just do what I can with the time I have. Okay, so this is it. In Matthew 24, he's, Jesus is talking about, you know, when he's coming back, and he's talking about the fig tree, you know, and when its leaves are tender and it puts forth branches, know that the summer is nigh. Okay, first of all, the summer's nigh right now. It's in June 21st. Today is June 1st as I'm doing this video. But then it says, that generation will not pass until you see all these things. The tribulation, the rapture, and the return of Christ. He's talking to his disciples who are asking him these questions. But, you know, what really, I, I don't know why I didn't really see it before, but it, I really saw it this time. But it says when the fig tree brings forth its branches, is tender and brings forth branches. That means the tree's already been born. It it's, takes time to grow a branch. So because Israel was born in 48, 1948, that's, too early to start counting because it has to bring forth something. Okay, so we know it brought forth something in 1949 when the United Nations took them on as a state. But in 1950, of course, we had Jerusalem became the capital of Israel. And so that's got to be what it is. And that does fit scripture and it makes more sense than 1948. But so many of us were all fixated on, it has to be 48, we have to get out of here, you know, generation is 70 to 80 years. No, we went through all that over the several years. All of us together, we had fun, right? <laughs> wow, we have been through a lot, folks. Okay, so, but I think we're at the end finally. Oh my God. Okay, so, um, 1950 plus 80 years, 2030. 2030 Messiah comes back at the end. Sets up the millennial kingdom in 2031. After the new moon on April 23rd. 2031. Which again, remember, is April 22nd is still 2030. Because God changes the year in the spring at Passover. Start a new year then. Now, the other thing that's interesting about Shavuot here is that Le Leviticus 23, 4 talks about the appointed times where Israel gathers in Jerusalem. There's three convocations of the Lord. Okay, it's Passover, Shavuot, and the Feast of Tabernacles. So... If Passover is one of them, then wouldn't it make perfect sense that he literally could come back at Passover to start the Millennial Kingdom in 2031? Like I said, April 2030, April 23rd, uh, 20, 2031, okay. Um... That 
I found interesting because they put the crown on his head when they crucified him, said king of the Jews. Well, perhaps that's symbolic of him beginning his rulership as king uh, at Passover in April 2031 which, like I said, is the beginning of 2031. They start the year in April. So that's another reason he could come back then. I know people have preconceived ideas of when he's coming back, but that doesn't mean we know he is for sure, you know, at a different time, okay? Like people think it's a Feast of Trumpets, but... What I have here still makes the gener fig tree generation make sense. The um, twenty thirty Messiah makes sense, and when he's coming back could make sense. It's one of the convocations where everyone gathers at Passover in Israel. <laughs> okay, we've got his crown, and he could come back. He would come back. According to this, he would come back on a, a, a blood moon. That's very interesting because that blood moon is May 7th. Okay? Now, Passover is May 6th. I want to make sure I said that right. Passover is May 6th. Okay, in, of course, into the 7th. Um, and April 23rd was the new moon, the beginning of the, the new month and the new year. And that 517, uh, this, um, five, okay, never mind about the 517. I had it written down for the Okay, just forget that part. I'm I'm looking at my notes. Just forget that part. Five one seven. I don't think I made sense with that. But anyway, May seventh, five seven is what I'm looking at. That's the lunar eclipse. And um, again, the twenty five twenty day count of Daniel fits perfect. So what this would do, if all of this works out. The rapture would happen on June 11th or 12th. And, and all of these things I just told you will all make sense. Okay, now the thing that we have going on right now that makes it possible is that we have a very accelerated situation with the war right now. You know, Biden just told Ukraine, go ahead and use any of all of our weapons uh, into Russia. You know, they have permission to do that now. And Putin has already said, if I, he said, you know, if, if the boots are even on the ground from NATO in Ukraine, he's going to, he threatened nuclear strike. Well, we've done way, way more than that by now. And then on top of that, which really blows my mind, which is amazing too, that fits into this time frame, or very well could, is... Uh, if you all remember, um, one of the main things that Chris, Brother Chris from Global Rapture Watchers came to YouTube with is that God showed him and also showed Philip Barnett, but he gave him uh, the insight, and this is before the war started two years ago, he gave him the insight that, um, that Belarus was going to come into Ukraine and take Kiev, and that would be what triggers off. I think that was the nuclear trigger. Well, just yesterday, they were talking about Belarus taking Kiev. Yeah, Belarus, which did not have nuclear weapons in it until recently at all, is now has their eyes on Kiev. I mean, this is absolutely amazing. This is prophetically confirmed from God. 
Okay, God showed on this several years ago and it is now happening, which means the rapture is before that. Okay, that's what God showed on the rapture is before that. And this is what's going to... I hope the audio is working on this. I really do. But again, it's what I'm saying that's important. So if... Okay, so... And then on top of that, you have... Uh, a situation where a sister saw that uh, when China attacks Taiwan, the rapture's at hand as well. And both of those are happening right now. They're both in the news for June right now. Okay, so, um, you know, and there's also more escalation with the nuclear threats by the minute, okay? But those specific things are really huge because God is confirming, he's confirming what these people saw years ago. He, it's, it's happening now. Okay, so we've got prophecy in this, we've got dreams in this, we've got the math and the Bible in this, we've got circumstances with the war in this, and of course, uh, you know, I got my dreams. War, World War Three, sooner than you think. Twenty one zero America. I also saw a. I had a dream once of missiles in the air, uh, all lined up. And speaking of lined up, that was another thing. We also have. There's an amazing lineup on June eleventh that has. Okay, Saturn. Just let's do a line across the screen in the Stellarium. Saturn, Mars, Uranus, Jupiter, Mercury, Sun, Venus. All of them in a line. Okay? That's big. Then you have tomorrow on the 2nd, the, uh, the Pons Brooks Devil Comet 12P is going to be closest to the Earth. <clears throat> tomorrow, you have... It's called the Mother of Dragons. That's one of its next nickname, the Mother of Dragons. It's in the Earth to be. You can see it from mid-April to mid-June. Uh, there, there you go. Mid-June, the Devil Comet is not like a coincidence, meaning nothing, with a weird name. The Devil Comet is telling the world the Devil's on his way. Time is up. The seven years of Daniel's week is about to start. Jacob's trouble is about to start. Mother of Dragons. What year are we in in China? We're in the Year of the Dragon. Started in February, the Year of the Dragon. Who have we been seeing in the news? Who's about to attack Taiwan? China. It's, this is the Year of the Dragon. The devil's coming to the earth. This comet is no joke. In mid-June, it's here until mid-June to see. Why mid-June? That's a couple days after June 11th. If that's the rapture, I'll tell you, you're going to see a lot of devilish, demonic stuff on the earth left the day after the rapture. The Holy Spirit restrainer will be gone. And yes, you can get saved after the rapture. Tribulation saints will be numerous. But they will get their heads literally cut off for believing in Christ and not taking the mark of the beast. Do not take the mark of the beast, right hand or forehead, or you can't buy or sell. Revelation 13, that's what's coming. America is going to be very much destroyed. Most of it, nuclear war is coming to this land. Nuclear bombs will be hitting this land for sure, no doubt about it, very, very soon. Uh, I mean... Seriously, does the, the Mother of Dragon comment give us a little clue about that? Yeah, we got some stuff lined up, ready to happen. And you do not want to be here for the day after the rapture, I'll tell you that much. You do not want to be left behind. And by the way, also, there was that video I did it years ago on it. Uh, that, that that's a, There's a game called... I think it's called, what is it called? It's called like After the Rapture or something. 
it's a, it's a video game, and literally, they have the rapture. I think it's June sixth. Okay, so um, you gotta wonder. You gotta wonder about that one too. Now, again, we could leave before the eleventh. I'm not saying we gotta wait. One more thing. I'll close with this. Uh, in in June uh, or in um, in twenty thirty one, uh, you have. I wish I had written a little more down on that one, but I think. Yeah, you have Venus, the Sun, and Mercury in the Devil's Horns. And Jupiter near Pleiades at the time that the Sun is in the bull constellation so that would be uh, when Christ returns why is that interesting because it's it's judgment it's the judgment will have begun in a final way of the Lord will have come back. So, um, so come to Christ if you haven't, so that you're not left behind after the rapture, which will happen very soon. Believe that he died on the cross, they crucified him, they buried him, he rose from the dead on the third day, 1 Corinthians 15, one through four, that's the gospel. The Bible says if you believe that for your sins, and he shed his blood for your sins on the cross, if you believe that for your sins, he made atonement for your sins, the Bible says if you believe that, that he is the Son of God, that you shall be saved. And you should be filled with the Holy Spirit and sealed until the day of redemption. Sealed until the day of redemption, meaning... Once you're his, you belong to him by believing the gospel for yourself, that you are saved. It's a gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. It's a gift, a free gift of salvation. Therefore, sin has been washed away from your life because God now sees you through the blood of Christ. So you are clean, white as snow, filled with the Holy Spirit, which makes you not want to sin. It's a whole process of transformation once you get saved, not to be confused with some idea that if you sin, you lose your salvation. Or, or you, or who, it's an excuse, a license to sin. No, like I said before, it's a license to get saved even though you're not perfect and never will be. As we desire to be more like the one who loves us because he's very incredibly beautiful and we want to be like him because he now lives in us. Christ in us, the hope of glory once you're saved. So I would recommend that you do that now. Time's running out. This nuclear threats are explosive right now. And uh, Keep your eyes on the sky. Don't get distracted with the baloney going on in the world because we got important things ahead. We're about to leave the earth. Praise God. So get as many saved again while you can because pretty soon it'll be too late. And you're going to get your crown for watching, the crown of righteousness. So don't give up watching because you've heard this before. I've, I've thought he was coming before. That's the enemy trying to make us not watch now because something amazing, he should have come back before. I'm, I'm not listening to that garbage and, and you can't do that either, okay? We've been watching for a long time because he's been coming for a long time. But pretty soon, he's gonna be here and we won't. We'll be with him after he comes at the wedding banquet okay so i look forward to seeing you there i love you guys take care and i will see you next time